Excuse me. Hello. Woo. Oh, Joey. Hello. Hello. Yeah, there she goes. Hello, Joey. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Joey. Ooh, little bald girl. <laughs> Is that a cute face? Say hi to the camera. Hi. You're so cute today, Joey. She is. You are right? so cute. I'm so tired. Joey, what are you looking at? You looking at yourself in the mirror? Are you looking at me? Gotta do it, friends. Only one winner. Well, on keep looking at yourself, Joel. I'm sorry to distract you. Comfort, whoever leaves us this evening, because when you get this far in the contest, it is a hard. You're a happy indeed. baby. And no doubt, know she got these guys will have some words of wisdom for them. Give it up for your judges. You're 70 percent off for weight, Joel. You're fat. Joel, you watch American Idol? Friends, there they are, your American Idol finalists. Joel, you want to be an American Idol someday? Here we go again. And yeah. Once again, the contestants in a fine job. Joel, who do you want to win? It's the Knicks and the Nets game three. Nets up by two games. It's the fourth quarter. Defense. Defense. You're not doing much, Ron. Joel, why are you so shy now? You were cheering before. It's a two-point game. We're getting all excited. I'm not very excited now. Joey, look how cute you look. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Look at the camera. Joey, look. Ooh. Defense. <laughs> Defense. 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 Look at her, her cheeks are so huge. Uh oh. Looks like she's storing Nick's chestnuts. Nick's can tie the, the game, window. Jolie. It's 75 73. Jolie, he's storing, he's storing nuts uh -oh. in her cheeks for the winter. Wow. Are you going to vomit on Daddy because he's bouncing up and down right after being fed? She's just fed? Yes, yeah, very, very soon. Oh. That would be funny if you did. It would be funny oh. if you did. Oh, why are you so shy today? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, look at that. That's your stupid face, I love. <laughs> so you know, being stupid? Oh, nice play for the Nets. Okay. That's one of the last Friends episodes. Wow, that's uh, pretty cool. So, <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
believe me, the ladies, they love it. Let's get, like, now I doubt it. Oh, you're watching Friends? That's Joey. Keep it easy. We can pick up where we left off. There's yeah, a baby. That's Rachel. Yeah. It was the weirdest thing. Zeller called me and he said we will do anything we can to get you back. And then I should thank some Ron. I don't even know what department that comes in. <laughs> so uh, what are you what are you gonna do? Well, I took it. Joe, are you looking at yourself in the mirror? She goes. There she goes with the tongue again. This is today's fifteen seconds of Jolie Rachel. It is what's today. May 7th, and we spent the day in the park with Jay and Jill and their son Jesse. And now we're home, and Jolie is relaxing. I guess she's starting to get hungry because she's got the hand in the mouth, and she's very excited by her kick and play vibrating bouncy seat. Kick and play, Jolie. Kick and play. Nothing? There we go. Hee <laughs> See, Jolie's excited. And that's all for today, folks. Bye, Jolie. Suffolk County Police want to talk to the driver, so if you have any information, they'd like to call one Jolie is rolling over. Well, now, Jolie, do it. Uh, 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 almost, almost. Uh, 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 Jolie! She's gonna do it. She on, did it two Jolie. days ago. Do it. A whole bunch of times. Jolie, come on. Jolie, come on. Well, in fact, the president says he is outraged. You're so close, Jolie. Jolie. Jolie, 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 Come on, Jolie, No rest for the weary, come on, fight Jolie. Come on, Jolie, do it, do it, Jolie. If you do it once, you can do it a hundred times. Come on, Jolie, come on. I know you want to. Are you resting? Are you lazy? You take after me? Come on. Jolie. If I turn off the camera, I know you're going to do it. So I'm just going to let the camera run. Yeah, James, what's going on? Jolie. Come on, Jolie. 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 She's Jolie. like resting. All right, I'm going to stop recording. I'll stop. It's like we missed it. Up. Oh, Yay, we missed Jolie. It. Yay. No, no, we're just kidding. Rob cheated. <laughs> Rob rolled her over. <laughs> now put her back. <laughs> now let's see. Let's see Jolie go. 
Come on, baby. Come on. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be on your tummy, so roll over. Ruff. She looks like uh, Peter Boyle. Yes, she does. <laughs> the back of that head. But look how well she's lifting her head. Look at that. She always got a Peter Boyle haircut. She does. <laughs> Jolie. Come on, Joel, you can roll over. You did it the other night. And Daddy just showed you how. So you got a big diaper halfway up your belly. She needs it so that she doesn't blow out of everything. How disgusting are her poops? She was covered in stool yesterday. Stool <laughs> covered. It's like, it was like she was dipped in sauce. <laughs> Jolie, what are you getting lazy in your old age? Wow, good head lifting. I'm gonna film you from the front. Here we are. There's Jolie. She's very cute. Even if she won't roll over. Look at those pokies. Struggling. What a tough life you have, Jolie. Now, Jolie will be 12 weeks old tomorrow. It's very exciting. Really? Yes. Wow. And Jolie's mommy still has not lost her pregnancy weight. Ah. <laughs> what are you doing, Jolie? What happened? Oh, I think that's the end of you for tonight, huh? And there's Daddy working out on his stupid mini stepper. Jolie! Jolie! All right, Jolie is not having fun on tummy time, so we will let her go. Goodbye. Oh, Jolie! Hello! Hello! Jolie! Monday, May 17th. It's the from the Brie Cap Drugs in 10 years. Jolie! 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 Started with an argument in the lunchroom, then moved outside to a park near the school. I saw was two kids are fighting, and then it got out of hand, and more people jumped. Joey, what's that stuff in your chin? How the video wound up on the internet. It was reported with drooling. With music and sound effects over the fighting. Oh, <laughs> Joey.
Hello, Jolie. Hello, Mother. I'm still pregnant. Okay, we'll look at Jolie. Yeah. Jolie, what do you have to say? Anything, Jolie? She's not talkative today. She's very sleepy today. Because it's hot. Okay, time to watch the Preakness. I know who wins. You do? do Don't tell me. It can if it's designed by the world. Into mine. Oh, okay. In the gate. Joey, you watching? And they're off, off Joey. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Did you missed the you missed the start of the Preakness. Yes. Oh, Joey, you watching the race? I wasn't even close. Look at Smarty Jones. I think he's gonna win the Triple Crown, Joey. Are you excited? Wow. The shortest way home, if you can get the lead and get to the fence, shortest way home, you have a big advantage. But Lionheart had a habit of running way too late. He likes to drift out. Joel, who's that in the mirror? I noticed that Mike Smith is riding and doesn't necessarily fight him. He likes to let him race out off the fence a little bit. So he may not get the shortest way home. Uh, but I think it's a, mis it's, a, it's a misconception that speed, this typical is a speed bias race. Trip. I won a lot of races back here from 1974 to 1978. By taking motion back and making a late run. When I moved to California, I had to, do, to adjust my style and learn how to be a speed rider. I think that um, I think totally. it's a very unbiased race track. How do you think Tim will manage to earn this reputation? That's a good question. Uh, Jolie, who's that? <laughs> Jolie. Yeah, you're right. A lot of misconceptions oh. come from the gamblers. Thank you, Chris. Thanks, Donna. And why would a guy bring a horse here who is coming off a 10th place finish in the Kentucky Derby? Well, trainer Paul Brinkley is so cute because I can get her face in the mirror. Oh, you like that? I got in the video. Yeah, he did. Jolie, look at yourself in the mirror. I talked with Brinkley this morning. He said two other factors played in there. Borrego generally is a horse that does not like to train, but on the Monday after the Derby, when he took. This is Jolie in the morning. She's just poo poo. Quite a pleasure. Hi, Jolie. Hi. She waved hello. Hi. Hi. This is what I get to wake up to every day. I'm going to feed you soon. But you're just lying here having so much fun. Under your mobile. See, there's the mobile. Well, she's not paying attention to it right now. Hi. Are you a gorgeous child? Yes. Yes, you are. Hi.
constantly toy. I hear it rattle sometimes, see? And that's how I know that she's stirring, but she just plays in her crib. She doesn't cry, poo-poo. That's my no jinxing it word, poo-poo. Said it all throughout my pregnancy with you. And I got lucky. You're my cuteness. You're my cuteness. I'm going to get you a toupee for the back of your head. All right, I'm going to shut this off now, finish my coffee. And uh, I'll be feeding you in a few minutes. All right? Oh, you're so cute. I love you. This is Jolie attempting to roll over, I think. We'll put her on her tummy. And she's starting to lay down in that I'm going to roll over position. Up. Oh, now she's getting up again. Oh, come on, Jolie. You can do it. Come on, Jolie. Look at that bald spot on the back of your head. You need a toupee. Yeah. Come on, Joey. You can do it. You lift your head very well now. Joey. strong. Is that a cute girl or what? Jolie, you can roll over. I know you can. Look at that. <coughs> Frustrating. Are you going to sleep now? Well, now it's more of a whine than a laugh.
Yeah, we're so proud of, of Rob. <laughs> That's me? That's mommy in the mirror? Jolie, does that taste good? She's eating it like it's a sandwich. Does it taste good, Jolie? Is that good? Yeah. 
It's it's how it's been circumcised. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. And speaking of circumcision, in a sense, that's what we're doing here. Um, as many of you know, what we're doing today is, in a sense, we are celebrating Jolie's bris, but um, because bris really does not mean circumcision. Okay, no, don't worry. Bris is the Hebrew word that means covenant. And for a baby boy, we are told early on in the Torah, in the book of Genesis, that we welcome him into the covenant of the Jewish people by circumcising him on the eighth day of his life, if he's ready. You remember, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, but for a girl, we welcome the little girl with a very special ceremony because it's just as important for the little girls to be welcomed into the Jewish people and that ancient covenant that began with Abraham and Sarah some 3,800 years ago. And one of the wonderful things is, they can, unlike becoming a bar or a bat mitzvah, uh, one can be welcomed into the covenant while they are sound asleep. So, uh, this is a good thing. Hello. <laughs> okay, you think she's going to walk like that? Yes, you know. He's got off the horse. <laughs> that would be from your side. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. Anyhow, it's a very joyous occasion, and that's why we're gathered together on this beautiful day. We are getting ready to celebrate, speaking of covenant, a very, very important Jewish holiday. It begins in just a little bit more than 48 hours, called Shavuot. Some of you may know it as Shavuos. And this is the anniversary of the date when God gave Moses, according to Jewish tradition, the Torah and the Ten Commandments. And that was, of course, the central event, other than the initial act of Abraham having to circumcise himself. Um, but uh, that was really the central Hey-o. event. Yeah. <laughs> In the, uh, <laughs> that one, I mean, it's, it's bad enough to watch the oil do it, but to do it yourself. Uh, but in any case, that really is the central uh, event in Jewish history, talking about the covenant between God and the Jewish people. God gave the Torah, and the people of Israel accepted it. And what we're doing today is Rob and Susie are bringing their lovely little girl before family and friends, and reciting traditional prayers, and formally welcoming her into the Jewish people. And as part of this occasion, we're also going to be giving Jolie Rachel a Hebrew name. And what we're really going to do is we're going to give her two. And many Jewish people have two names. How many people here have two Hebrew names? Everybody have two. Okay. And it really relates very much to the holiday that's coming up, Shavuot, because some of you may know that when Moses went up to Mount Sinai and God said, I'm going to give you the tablets of the law, and Moses asked, how, how much are they? And God said that they're free. And Moses said, I'll take two. Yeah. So, um, so Jolie has invited some of her favorite people here today. And we're going to share this ceremony with you. Oh, And even if there's some injuries and chaos in the background, that's okay. Because we have to focus on what we have to do. And Jolie should be a role model to all of us. She is blissfully unaware and undeterred. She wants to be formally welcomed into the Jewish people, so we're going to do that right now. All right. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this. <laughs> this biblical. This, no, actually, right like, these are wonderful for lighting barbecue. That's so what for, we use it for. Yes, for any of you who've ever tried to stick a match right. in there. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. No, so these are great. And what we're going to do is we are going to light this one candle. Okay, two on Friday nights or on holidays. But well, we're going to light this one candle because in the Torah, in the very beginning of the book of Genesis, it says that God created light as the very first act of creation. And light is a symbol for Jewish people, and really for people of most religions, of God. And we pray that God is always going to be part of Jolie Rachel's life, watching over her and her parents and her grandparents and the whole family and blessing them with all kinds of good things. And you know, one of the blessings that I understand Julie has already brought to her parents is lots of sleep, yeah. which, which I, you know, as soon as Susie told me about this baby, I said, don't tell anybody that she sleeps like that, they'll hate you. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a very, as the father of four, I can tell you, this is quite a blessing, yeah. a very unusual thing, so. Fortunately, mine sleep through the night now, but they're, they're a little bit older, so. Anyhow, so we pray that 
the light of God's presence will always be part of Jolie's life and that her life will be a long life and a healthy life. As we say in Yiddish, some of you may know, Biz Hundred and Svansik. Right. Okay, or in Hebrew, Admeya Esrim, that she should live to be 120. All right? And the grandparents will all be there for the 120th birthday party, right? To celebrate. And, and, and why 120? Does anybody know? Okay, that, well, you didn't, that was quick. <laughs> okay, somebody very famous in Jewish history lived to be 120, and that was Moses. Okay? He's the one who went up onto the mountain. And for those of you who are, have, have you hit 59 yet? <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> but one, one more. Okay. Reverse the digits and you got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, right. sure, I know it. That's right. Well, what, what you need to know is Moses didn't even get started until he was 80. So you can accomplish a lot of wonderful things. He's a late bloomer. So we're going to begin with our ceremony, which I think most of you have copies of. Good. Oh God, our Creator, happy parents have come into your presence today to voice the longings of their hearts in prayer. Give them the wisdom to teach their child to be faithful to the heritage of the household of Israel, that she may grow up with the knowledge that you are always near to her, guiding and sustaining her. Keep open the eyes of her spirit, that she may ever be conscious of the beauty and wonder of your world and let her learn to love the goodness that is in man and woman, that she may ever nourish the goodness that has been implanted within her. Though none of us can fully escape sorrow and pain, we humbly ask for Jolie, the courage to face evil, the faith to transcend it, and the strength to subdue it. Grant her health of mind and strength of body, that she may enjoy fullness of years and live to do your will in faithfulness, and together we say, Amen. Amen. See, everybody's following along. Like that. That, that is a good right? picture. Very good. Good. So She's going to check and make sure I don't make any right. mistakes. In <laughs> All right. And now, before Susie and Rob say a very special blessing, I'm going to say a blessing which is special, but not quite as special as theirs. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam. Gomel, Chasadim, Tovim, and if you would all say, Amen. Amen, thank you. Blessed are you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe, whose love and kindness extend to all the world. We're saying Amen, it's okay. Right. <laughs> Sounds a little different for dogs. Right. It's all right. Now, in Jewish tradition, we are told that ideally, we have the time, we're supposed to say a hundred blessings every day. Okay? There are blessings, obviously, over the food. There's a blessing maybe when you see a rainbow. There's even a blessing, and the kids always laugh about this, and, and you may as well, but there's even a blessing when you successfully go to the bathroom, okay? Because, you know, well, yeah, you know, but it doesn't happen, it's, you know, okay. So, see what you have to look forward to. You have plenty of blessings. <laughs> Susie says a blessing when Rob changes the diaper. <laughs> right? So we have all these wonderful things going on. And the blessing that they're now going to say is called the Shehechianu, the blessing for the most special of occasions. We say it for the first night of Hanukkah, for the first Passover Seder, and said it your wedding day and all these other wonderful times. So I'm going to ask you guys to lead us in that. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam shehechianu v'kiamanu v'higianu l'azman hazet. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe, for giving us life, for sustaining us, and for enabling us to reach this happy day. O oh God, for the gift of this child, we give thanks, praying that we will be worthy of the blessing and responsibility of parenthood. May we show our gratitude to you by leading our daughter in the way of righteousness. Help us to guide and instruct her that she may grow up to be a proud, knowledgeable, and active member of the Jewish community. And I think we can all say amen to that, right? Amen. amen. We, we agree with that. Mi shibera chavotenu Abraham Yitzhak v'yakov, ve'imotenu Sara Rivka le'ev Rahel, hu yivarech et ha'yalda hazot, ha'kadosh baruchu yishmareha, v'yate et le'ev ha'yalda, La lechet bedar te yosher, the he adonai ima. By itema dea bina vahaskel, chaim vahesed, bracha vishalom. By isku avotecha legadlah, ulachanchach, 
לתורה, לחופה ולמעשים טובים, ונאמר, אמן. You're getting good at this. <laughs> May God, who blessed our matriarchs, Sarah, Rebecca, Leah, and Rachel, bless this child with long life and excellent health. May she be a joy to her parents, Susie and Rob, and may she be a joy to her grandparents, Francine and Donald, and Susan and Howard. Have them stand up. A little round of applause here. Yeah. And I think you're <laughs> sure that, right? And a joy and a blessing to the entire family. May her life bring honor to the Jewish people, blessing to humanity, and glory to the name of God. And now in the presence of all the loved ones who are gathered here, we give to this beautiful baby, and of course, any sleeping baby is beautiful baby, but this one, you can, I mean, this one, yeah, yeah, yes, we're going to give to this beautiful child the name Yoelit Rachel. Bat, daughter of, Reuben Abba, and Sarah Rivka. May it become a name honored and respected for wisdom and good deeds. May God's blessing rest upon this child now and always. Now, of course, when we name a baby, we name after and recall family members who are departed, but this particular name as well recalls two very important people in the Bible. Yoelit actually is the female version of the name Joel, which in the Bible is one of the prophets, okay? One of the 39 books of the Jewish Bible is the book of Joel. Now, most people are kind of surprised to hear that because we think Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, and Joel. But, uh, but truly, it is there, and it's a fairly short book. And one of the other things that's very important about that book is that we read from Joel on the Sabbath between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, what is called the holiest Sabbath of the year. It's called Shabbat Shuvah, the Sabbath of Repentance. So Joel is a very important book of the Bible, and the name Yoelit certainly recalls Yoel in Hebrew. And of course, Rachel, well, Rachel, Rachel was the beloved, and uh, the woman that in the Bible Jacob worked for seven years in order to marry. And then got tricked a little bit and ended up having to work another seven years to marry her, but, but she was worth it. So, uh, and he never complained. So we pray that this name will be honored and respected for wisdom and good, good deeds. We pray that God's blessing will rest upon Jolie, Rachel, Yoelit, Raphael, now and always. And what we're going to do is we're going to now say a blessing, which I think most of you know because I've explained this to most of you before, but just in case you don't know, we're going to say a very traditional blessing that goes back to the time of the Shalom. May God's presence be lifted up upon you, Yoelit Rachel, and may God fill you.